Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. Today we're going to see how to create uh, alignment using best fit creation method. And we're going to use a bunch of Kogo points to create an alignment between these points. So when you create an alignment, typically most people tend to use the alignment creation tools, which you have seen in some of the tutorials. And then you can create alignment from objects that's using a polyline. Um, the, the bo both are very, very uh, often used methods. And one method which is really, really useful at the same time, you could actually use it in a lot of practical scenarios would be uh, create best fit alignment. The reason being is when you start any civil designs, the basic building blocks of your civil design would start from Kogo points. So because your surveyor is going to give you existing ground or existing ground surfaces or any existing structures or design surface or whatever it's going to be, they're going to come in as points or civil 3D terrain tin models. So from that is where you're going to start building your alignments and profiles and sections and designs corridors and everything is on going to be on top of that is all your designs so now your very first element that you're going to create would be your alignment so now if your surveyor has already given you points now with these points now we know all we have to do is create an alignment between those <coughs> two sets of points then uh, creating a best fit alignment will be the best choice so let me explain you how this thing works so all you have to do is select bunch of points first on one side and then the second set of points and then it creates a best fit alignment all right so it has to be a trial and error in the first few times until you understand how the different settings work and after that you should be all good all right so i'm going to click on this one so first thing is the input data and um, so one thing which i also find in some of my trainings is people tend to forget that this option is there for some reason and then they try to keep picking points and it's not going to work because for now it's going to pick only the blocks <coughs> So there is AutoCAD entities that you can pick like lines, circles and whatever it could be. And then AutoCAD points, Gogo points and then feature lines. So these are the different elements that you can pick. So I'm going to choose AutoCAD points and now it's going to be path one and path two. So I'm going to choose path one. The path one itself is enough. So based on that, it will trace it and it will create an alignment. If you got path two, it will create between those two paths. <coughs> so I'm going to click on this option. Now in AutoCAD selection, you got um, your window selection and your uh, cross selection. And apart from that, you can also use the fence selection, which is you can keep your mouse. And then if you drag, it will be between those windows and cross selection. It's a fence selection. And then you can select all those points. That would be my path one. And um, it should be, sorry, I have chosen AutoCAD points. That's why it has not selected it. I'm going to choose Coco point, do it again. All right, and then I'm going to choose the path two as well. So I don't know how it's going to work. Okay, it picked all. All right, press enter. So now it has selected both the path. And the next thing is your maximum radius for a curve detection. Um, so you can change this value however you want it. And then creating spirals if you want to create a spiral or without a spiral. It's totally up to you and you can give it a name. And the site, if you want to put your points into a site, I have already given a, a little brief description of what is sites and how to use it. And then, um, so you got your alignment styles, labels, styles, styles, and all these ones, you can pick it. And once you're pretty much happy, uh, you can also turn on the report, which just generally shows you how the alignment is created. Click OK. And uh, so now it has created. So now there is uh, no straights because if I continue these two points into a straight line on both sides, you will see straights on both sides as well. And now you can see that this is all the points that we have chosen. And um, then the offset distance and then um, and then it shows you a regression graph of how it actually created it. So that is all uh, for this one. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to put it onto the comment section, guys. Thank you so much.